Blad out. All right, we are back at it again. It is Friday. It is January 19th. It is 7:38. <clears throat> and we're doing it big. We're going live. Um just get right at it. Three, seventy-six, six. Oh, and always, um, duh. Um, I uploaded a uh, <coughs> a version of my Fizbo pitch, so it's in the uh, it's in the files. Have at it. Um, get some. Additionally, anybody looking to buy or sell real estate in South Florida, please send them my way. I love your referrals, and I will take. VIP care of anybody that you uh, entrust me to uh, work with. So here we go. Well, oh, here we don't go. Uh, come on. Okay. We're doing big things. We're getting shit done. We're slugging some coffee. Ah, it's disgusting. And away we go. At the tone, please record your message. <clears throat> when you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious how on earth the property did not sell. If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. All right. So there are 14 to dial. I think there were 22 total records, but uh, only 14 that I want to speak to that are in the right price points. Got two listing appointments for this afternoon. Very fired up about that. Um, actually, the guy that I battled with, I don't forget if it was Tuesday or Wednesday night, but he was the late night. Um, Hello, please leave a message after the tone. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. Yeah, but he was the guy I battled <clears throat> um, whatever night it was this week. Uh, he called me last night to uh, to confirm himself for today's appointment, so I'm pretty fired up about that. And uh, and we're gonna do it big. <laughs> we're gonna get shit done. He actually said, uh, "I want you to come over and razzle dazzle me." Good morning. This is Chris. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Echo. 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 <clears throat> so, I got my tap shoes on. I'm ready to go. I'm going to do some razzle dazzle. <clears throat> and by razzle dazzle, I mean provide uh, incredible value. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had been canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? You bad phone. <laughs> All right. 
lot of fumbling on his end of the of the line. That's all right. Good morning. Hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? Huh? I was curious how on earth your property did not sell. Are you the owner of Sea Pines Way in Boca? Oh my goodness, I, I've got the wrong number. Okay, um, real quick question in closing. Do you uh, happen to know anyone looking to buy or sell real estate that I might be able to help? Be honest. No. Okay. No. All right, are you thinking about selling ever? No. Okay. Thinking about buying anytime soon? No. Is there anything I can do to help you out as it relates to real estate or, or anything in general? All right. Well, I appreciate your time. Hey, would it offend you if I texted you my contact information so that you have it? If your real estate needs change or you know anyone looking to buy or sell, you know where to find me. Would that be all right? Would that be okay? All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good for uh, for the wrong number. If I was him, I would have hung up on me a long time ago. <clears throat> All right, 10 more. Hello, this what? is, hey, it's Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? The, the, I'm sorry, it's not for sale. And can you guys somehow get? Yeah, a, actually, look, just just so you know, uh, your, your number is on the hot list today because it comes up as an expired listing. Um, I will take you out of my system. <laughs> So you don't get any more phone calls from us. I, and look, I, you're going to get a lot of phone calls. I'm, I'm telling you that right now. You're, you're on the list. Uh, oh, my God. I'm talking to you this morning. I mean, my house has been open to market for like, I don't know, three, four months. No kidding. Months huh. Well. That's not your fault. I understand that. Some, I'm sure there's a company that's trying to, you know, that puts together these listings and they sell it to you guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I want to make sure I have the right info because um, it's coming up actually as an expired listing that expired last night. Are you the owner of uh, Northwest 119th Drive? Is that you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and you're saying it expired a while ago, huh? Yeah. Wow. No kidding. Okay. Well, let yeah. me ask you this because I'll, I'll take, I'm going to delete you from my system so you don't get any phone calls from, from me. Here's what you tell anybody who calls back. Okay. Just, just say, put me on the do not call list. They'll, uh, they'll have to honor that. Okay. Um, now question, and I respect right. you're not selling. I'm not going to ask you to, I will tell you this. Um, I'm with Remax direct. We've got six offices throughout uh, South Florida. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day and I totally get you're not selling. Would it offend you if I sent you a monthly status report of the inventory in your neighborhood? It will do two things. One, you'll know what the values of your properties uh, in your neighborhood are, but also you won't forget who I am. Is that fair enough? <laughs> well, well, I got it. I, I, hold on a second. Sure. Well, I, I respect your honesty and your loyalty, but I also know this, your bottom line is the thing that you're most loyal to. So if I can be a second opinion or perhaps an auxiliary resource for yeah, you. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. What's your best email address? I'm sorry. I, I said, look, I, I respect, I respect your loyalty to your friends. I get that. But I also respect your bottom line is the thing that you are most loyal to. Um, so Look, we, we sell a lot of property and we net more to our sellers. What I'd like to do again is just be there as a second opinion or a second resource in the event that you happen to have any questions or concerns or if I can help out in any way. Um, I will not abuse your... If you want to send it to that address... Sure. What I'd like to do is this, if it's okay. I will never spam you, but what's your best email address? Mom's bar, M -O -M -S -B -A -R, at 
Super. I appreciate it. Have a great day, and uh, I will be in touch. If you need anything, you can give me a call, okay? All right, you got it. All right, bud. Have a great day. Bye. Hey, while I got you on the phone, real quick in closing, do you, fuck. What I forgot to ask him was if he happens to know anybody looking to buy or sell real estate that I might be able to help. I got a little bit carried away there. But I got his email. And as it turns out, I have not been using my CRM the right way, um, which was like, <laughs> good morning. No, we're not. Uh, please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. All right, I'm dropping an auto message to them. But uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, in, in, horribly, in a horribly uh, embarrassing admission, um, I totally, totally have been doing my, um, uh, not utilizing the tools that I have uh, the right way. So I've been doing it some old school gangster way that makes no sense. Um, and I think that, well, n now that it's been shown to me how to do it the right way, uh, I think my efficacy... Good morning. This is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? <laughs> did you have it? Did you have someone that wanted to see my house? I sure do. In fact, we work with. Uh, well, you're, you're right there in Wellington. We've got about 35 active buyers that are that are looking in your area right now. Um, so I, I see it was on the market for 184 days. Did you have any offers on the property? Um, actually, I'm getting ready for work, so this is not a really good time unless you have someone that you want to bring here. I can set up an appointment. Okay. So. Well, I, I, I do. I, I have several, to be very honest. I, I obviously have not seen your home. Um, are you aware that it's coming up as an expired listing today? I'm really in a, in a rush, so if oh. I can call you back at another time, that would be great. Oh, uh, sure. I, I, I'll let you off the phone right now. Actually, the, the number that I called you on, is it your cell? Yes. Okay, I'll text you my contact information so that you have it. You're going to get a lot of phone calls today okay. from realtors. I know it's a pain in the rear end. Um, real quick, though, did you get any offers on the property? Be honest. I got to go. I'm so sorry. Okay, I got to go because I'm really late for work. <laughs> Can't be late today. I'm sorry. Okay, do, do your thing. I'll be in touch. All right. Thanks. Yep. Bye. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> all right. You're getting ready for work. I let you off the hook. Uh, but yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> it's staggering how bad. How good I thought I was doing versus how um, what I was actually doing. So the perception versus the reality. Hello, good. Hello this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing. Uh, I already extended my listing with my broker. Oh, super. Okay. Uh, let me ask you this. I, uh, did, did you have any offers on the property while it was listed for 184 days? Yes. Awesome. You want to contact while you have buyers? Yeah, you're, you're darn tootin' I got buyers. Um, what I'm curious... Okay, let me give you my real broker. Let me give you my, my broker's number, and oh. that way you can bring the buyers. Okay. Um, sure. Now, just, just out of curiosity, why did you relist with them when, when you had it on the market for 184 days and you couldn't get it done? Uh, thank you. You can contact uh, the realtor your buyer. No, I, I do have buyers. I was just curious about the status of the activity on the property. Um, okay, who is it? He hung up. <clears throat> so, so yeah. Anyway, um, I thought I was dialed in. I thought I was being hyper effective. I thought I was getting maximum touches to these people in my follow up system, and uh, <laughs> it's not true. Not true. So, um, so you got to learn. And I have seen the errors of my ways. <clears throat> P 
you can get 1% better every day. You have reached Michael. Leave me a message. At the tone, please record your message. 1% better when every day. Minimum. You may hang up or one for more options. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing was canceled in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. Ten down, four to go. <sighs> and we're getting it done. What's up, Mike? Hello? Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? That was a very efficient... Hang up. <laughs> All right. Ten down, four to go. We're working our way through the the call hammer. Hello, Hello, this is... This is Sylvia Sorry, I can't take your call right now. Leave your phone number and I'll call you right back. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more... Every day, Eddie. Good morning, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. I noticed your property listing had expired in the MLS. I was curious, how on earth did the property not sell? If you would, please give me a call back. My number is 561-516-2442. Again, 561-516-2442. Thank you. Come on, Eddie, you know the name of the game. Just look in the room, you'll see what that I, I call every morning. <clears throat> so on a perfect day when I have lots of time, I would like to hit the morning, mid afternoon and evening, and then carve out some time for some circle prospecting. Good morning. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. My records indicate that your property is for sale by owner. Is that true? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you sorry. hear me? I didn't hear you. Oh, I'm Hi. sorry. Hi, it's it's Chris Igo with Remax. I, I was giving you a call. My records indicate that your property is for sale by owner. Is that true? Oh, that's awesome. Fantastic. How much are you asking for the property? Well, it's all listed. We got it up on the thing. You can read it. My husband's actually taking care of all that. Okay. I love it. Yeah, actually, I'm, what I see right now is actually two different sets of information, which is why I was calling to ask the questions. Um, and it's, oh, okay. It, it, okay. Yeah, it's so weird. We it it's five. You have it at what? Listed at five. Okay, 500. Perfect. How many bedrooms? How many baths? Okay, I love it. Um, have you done any upgrades or improvements to the property? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, minimal, minimal. Okay. Well, cool. I've, had the house, I've had the house for 27 years, and I've been renting it all these years. Mm -hmm. And so um, we're, we're going to relocate. Where are you going to next? Uh, well, my next stepping stone is Tallahassee. So. Okay, cool. We, we've actually got some uh, rock star partners up in Tallahassee. Let me ask you this. Are you trying to sell the house by not having it on the market with the real estate professional? Is that because you hate realtors? Um, actually, no. No. My husband and I have done this three times on our own and had no problem. Awesome. Yeah, you, well, you, we've, really never, um, we've never really used a realtor, actually. Never needed one. 
needed it. Yeah, and you might not. I'll be honest. There's there's not a uh, there's not a ton of inventory out there right now for properties like this. So when it's priced right, marketed the right way, the, the, you may, very well might sell it yourself. Um, let me ask you: If you knew absolutely, obviously, if you do it yourself, you, you get it done yourself, and that's awesome. If you don't, if you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One, the home would sell. Two, you would end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could any other way, with or without an agent. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Um, sure, sure, but, but um, what's your name again? My name is Chris. Sure. Because uh, he, he's handling all this. Okay. So, um, do you have that? You, you obviously got my number off the site, right? Yeah. So th I have this number. I have an email address, which I'm not sure if it's accurate. I've got Paintbrush Twenty Two. Is that right? No, that's not accurate. Okay. What's the best number to reach so, me on? Uh, but the best number is a five six one. Yeah. Six eight five. Yeah. Zero two three. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do if it's if it's okay. I'm obviously gonna call Dan and talk to him directly. Would it offend you if in the meantime I also ran an analysis on the property as it relates to price so that we're both fluent in the same language? I'll email that to both of you. What's your best email address? Um, uh, um let me well gosh, we have a lot. Um uh, you know what, Chris? Will you talk to Dan first before you do that? Sure. You can I will call him as soon as we hang up. <laughs> no problem. Okay, that, that'd, be, that'd be really great. I'm at work, and I really, I'm not really free to talk. I just stepped outside to take your call. Sure. So that would be really good if you could do that. I'll be happy to do it. And you know what I'll also do, just so we don't get disconnected or, or lose each other? I'll text you my contact information so that you have it. And uh, if you need anything or if there's anything I can do to help support you in any way, give me a shout. I'm always here to help. All righty, I appreciate your time. Hey, quick question. When I when I sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job I did? Oh my gosh, absolutely, sure. Awesome, I love it. Okay, you have, right. have a great day. I'm gonna call Dan now. Okay, great. Okay, bye. Oh, that's good. Now let's call Danny Boy. <clears throat> Thank you, Ruth. I appreciate your... Uh... <clears throat> I did make her day. Gotta make him laugh. Now, if she's that sweet, you have to imagine that the yin and the yang, opposites attract, um, just tells me that Dan is not going to be so receptive. <laughs> uh, but let's give it a shot. My middle name is Daniel, so we got that going for us. Hello, this is Chris Igo with Remax. I'm giving you a call. My records indicate that your property's for sale by owner. Is that true? Yes. That's awesome. I love it. Okay. How much are you asking for the property? 500. Okay. How many bedrooms? How many baths? There's three bedrooms, two baths, and that means there's a, uh, there's a unit in the back, which is converted garage back in the 70s, I think. Mm-hmm. As a uh, you know a sleeping room and a full bath. Okay, nice. It's detached, but it's right there from the breezeway. You know, a few steps away from the house. Okay, I love it. Um, what's the um? So I, I get that there's a detached. Um, uh, is there? What is the backyard like over there? It's a small lot. It's like a. It's like a. Uh, I don't know what about fifty by ninety or something like that. It's 
Um, there, there is no backyard. What? Where it is? It's a historic district. Are you in West Palm? Yeah. So are you? Are you in Old Northwood? No, no. We're in Mango Promenade, and there's only about six homes back there that are owned by private, you know, individuals. Yeah. The college owns a few units at the end towards mm-hmm. all of them. Mm-hmm. But they all face a common sidewalk. Okay. And there is no street in the front. In the back is a service alley. And that's, uh, you know, there is no backyard per se. Uh, you know, it's, it just it butts right up against the, uh, the alley there. Yeah, okay. And a small front yard. Uh-huh. Sure, I got it. All right, yeah, I yeah, actually... Nice, uh, nice 10 by 40 patio. It's all, it's all paver bricked in, uh, you know, done right. Mm-hmm. Did a lot of money to get that done. That's awesome. Uh, with uh, walkways and things like that around the house. Okay. How old is the roof? Uh, the roof needs replaced. Okay. It's at it's at its uh, you know limit right now. Sure. Okay. I respect that. Uh, let me ask you this: Are you trying to sell the property by not having it on the market with a real estate professional? Is it because you hate realtors? No, not at all. Awesome. Is it about the money? No. Flying it out there by owner. We've done one before, mm-hmm. and uh, I think the house, on its merits, being about a mile and a half away from Clavada City Place, uh, you know, Worth Avenue, block and a half from the you know, Coastal, mm-hmm. uh, you know, right down the street from uh, the Norton Gallery. That's it's a becoming spot, and uh, it's tucked away back in there. Nobody knows about it, and uh, you know, it's it's. I think it'll sell on its own merits, really. I'll tell you, there's not a lot of inventory to be very candid with you. So I think you're very well, maybe right. Um, Let me ask you this. If you knew absolutely for certain that by doing business with me, two things would happen. One is the home would sell. Two, you would end up with significantly more money, bottom line, than you could any other way with or without an agent. Now, I know that's a big promise, but would you at least want to hear more about it? Be honest. Uh, Maybe down the line, but Mm -hmm. we have a lead on a real estate individual that uh, we may utilize if we don't get the play we need. Mm. Well, he- here's something I- I'd like to throw out to you because you're, as you mentioned, it is a prime location. One of the things that I offer for for sale by owners that I work with is an opportunity for us both to have a win-win. What I mean by that is I'd like to, if with your permission, I would love to host a mega open house for you, drive traffic to it. At that open house or at with our marketing efforts, again, not listed, it's your for sale by owner. Your buyers would be your buyers. However, I've also found that a lot of times it's not the right fit for everyone. So the ones that or the perspe- the prospects that it doesn't work for, I would obviously want to have access to those. Um, would that be something that you'd be willing to consider? Well, what's the uh, what's the. Uh... What's in it for you? What's in it for me? <laughs> well, this, yeah, that, well, that's, that, the win-win is this. If we drive buyers to your, well, not if, we will drive buyers to your property. Any buyer that wants the property is yours. So that's, that's, right. that's your client. That's what you, it accomplishes your goal. So if we drive 50 people to it, let's say five are interested in your property, those are yours. Um, the other 45, it just, for whatever reason, doesn't work. I would want access to them to be able to help them uh, with their real estate needs. So it becomes... Yeah, I understand. Cool. Um, So here's what I'd like to do if it meets with your approval. And just so you know, I'm with Remax Direct. We've got six offices throughout Palm Beach County. We've sold 15,000 homes since 2008. We're averaging one a day. Um, I'd like to run an analysis as it relates to price. Um, And I... I'm not saying that you're wrong, just to be very candid, but I'd like to get fluent in terms of pricing. That way we're speaking the the same language. I'd like to email that to you. What's your best email address? Uh, My email address is ldmcdan at gmail.com. Okay, cool. And the number that I called you on, is it your cell phone? Yes. Okay, so I'll text you my contact information so that you have it. I suspect you're probably going to get a lot of phone calls from realtors who are going to try to list your house. Um, so I'm just warning you of that. You're, you're going to get a... Well, sure, yeah, I understand that. Sure. I don't, I don't want to get lost in the sauce, so I'll, I'll text you my contact information, save it in your phone, you'll know who I am. 
I'll run an analysis as it relates to price. I'll email that to you. What I obviously really like to do is lay eyes on the property so I know exactly what we're, we're talking about here. Um, is it possible to uh, meet with you to be able to do that? Sure. Okay, do you have, let's see here. Do you have availability tomorrow in the afternoon or evening? Yeah, tomorrow afternoon is fine, sure. What time works for you? I'm I'm available all day. Okay, cool. So are you in the uh do you live in the property? Yes. We oh, live there. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna put yeah. you down for can I put you down for three o'clock? Uh three o'clock's fine. Uh -huh. Su super duper. Okay. And uh so perfect. So what I'll do is this. I'll I'll text you my contact information, email you the analysis, and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow at three. Now I, I have a question. Um if you were going to win a million dollars by guessing correctly, what price realistic, realistically do you think a buyer would pay for your house? I think pretty close to the asking price, actually. Okay. I think pretty close. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's an as-is sale. Sure. Uh, we, have, uh, we do have issues with it. Uh, you pointed out one roof. Sure. Uh, you know, it does have termite damage. Uh, that's that's something I, I will disclose. Sure. But every single wood frame home up and down up and down the prom uh, has been tenanted more than once. So it's just that's the nature of the beast. Yeah, uh, with, with the historic the homes, beast, it, it's, it's not been standing for ninety years, uh, nine better than ninety years, and it's probably you know got a lot more life left in it. Sure. I realize that people will probably want to do this, do that to it. Uh, when you see it, you'll you'll see, you know, hard pine floors, casings, door and window, uh, all that sort of thing. There's been some, there's been some remods done along the way, but generally it's, it's all there. Uh, and if somebody wanted to Restored for historic value. It's there. If uh, they didn't, they could, uh, you know, make it their own. Uh, redo the kitchen, whatever they wanted to do. But uh, that's uh, being in a historic district, they, you know, they have to tread lightly and get approvals and so forth. So sure. Okay. <laughs> Well, let me ask you this. If, if, if when we meet, um, I can demonstrate to you without a shadow of a doubt how I can net you more um, and do it faster with less stress than you ever thought possible, is there any reason, and it made business sense from a financial perspective and you got the number that you wanted, is there any reason that you would not be able to list with me? List it how? With you, you mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's possible, but like I say... Uh, you know, we're, we're wanting to give this thing a run right now sure. and uh, see what we get. Uh, I think that's fair. We're under contract with buy owner and uh, we've got to adhere to that. Um, so, uh, you know, that, we're, we're going to let that, we're going to let that play out. Mm -hmm. See if we don't get any, uh, we don't get any play on it, you know, in, uh, in a few weeks, then, uh, we may be looking to uh, to do something else. Sure. And yeah, you know, we. I mean, to be honest, I mean, I I'd be willing to throw you in the mix if it, if it fits good. Uh, you know, like I say, we do have a, a line on on uh, a gentleman in Tallahassee that's helping us that uh, has contacts here as well. So. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, and I mean, I'm, not, I'm being perfectly honest with you. That's my... that's our approach. It's more of a taper. Take it or leave it type thing, as far as I'm concerned, because the uh, the last home that's sold here uh, is a two story, pity uh, quarter to us. Well, you'll see. But but anyway, they've uh, there was a bidding war all the way up to six hundred on that one, uh, and uh, the people next to us plowed about two hundred grand into their home to fix it up. It's basically a winter home for them. Not a winter, but uh, they come down Snowbirds. several times a year, yeah, and uh, use it. So it's uh, you know it's just a charming place. Yeah, I'm walking the dog right now down the prom, and uh, there's traffic whizzing by. You barely hear, but uh, you know we're just central to everything.
everything in West Palm Beach. Yeah, it's a prime spot. Yep. Do you know anyone um, uh, else in that in the uh, in the area that's thinking about selling too? Not yet. Okay. No, these right. things don't come up very often. I know. I know and, that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, this is it's just precious little, uh, like you said, precious little inventory. Sure. That, uh, that is out there. In fact, we've been, uh, this has been a process of years for us. We've owned the house since the 80s, mm -hmm. and uh, it's, uh, you know, we had bums sleeping in the street and that type of thing. It's gone through uh, a lot of uh, metamorphosis. And yeah. now we've got uh, some real nice, uh, you know, real nice things popping up around at restaurants and different venues, not to mention City Place. So. Sure. So you mentioned you're going to uh, Tallahassee. What brings you to uh, what's what's the uh... family? Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Nice. My granddaughter gonna have another one. Oh. Time can, to time can... to get up there. That six hour drive is a is a brow beater. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, many years ago, I had a uh, a girlfriend who was at FSU, and and I was down here at FAU, and I would make that trek, and it, it's it's a tough yeah. one. It's a tough well, one. We, 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 Marked a groove down the uh, down the road pretty good. In fact, we could probably get our hands off the wheel and start to go by the road. Yeah, you got it. Got it set <laughs> for autopilot. Okay, yep. cool. Um, well, look, I, I appreciate your time. Let me ask you this: When I sell the property and get you more money than you ever thought possible, will you do an amazing testimonial and tell everybody what a great job I did? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> awesome. I I love it. Okay, cool. So so here's Come here's. On, yeah. Come on. We'll do it. It's a date. Uh, now, let, let me ask you, if uh, I've got you down for three, if I can free up time a little bit before that, do you think you'll be home? Sure. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I've got you down Just for three. Just a call, make sure I'm, I'm, you know, I'm tidying up around here, doing this, that, and the other, so I'm accessible. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time, Dan. Have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Okay, very good. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so there it is. Uh, there were... Um, I don't know, 14 leads to call for today, I think was the uh, 13 or 14 to call, one FISBO set for tomorrow, so we got big things for this weekend, two appointments today, one tomorrow, get some!